Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a haul for you today and I have a bunch of new shops to share with you. I think all of these shops are new to me except for one, so I'm super eager to start using these. Let's just get right into it. A lot of these are both journaling and planning related, so I'll use them for both. So the first shop I have here is Wild Moon Paper Co. Wild Moon Paper Co. makes like die cuts, pins, which are magnetic, which I love because those are way more planner friendly, and also some sticker sheets as well. So the first die cut I got were these booties because I am a booties girl, like these are my go-to shoes. I feel most myself when I'm wearing them. So I thought those were really cute. And then of course I had to get the coffee, adorable. And I got this like kind of, I think of it as a desert oasis kind of vibe. I'm not sure what the actual name of the die cut is though, but I love the color and just the vibe on that. Oh, this is a business card of a little, essential oil roller she included along with my PR order, which is really sweet. And I did open this and do a tarot reading with these three die cuts, which is why the business card is just showing up now. The tarot reading is on my Instagram if you wanna check that out. And then I got this planner card and this is with, I think it's a collab with Lucy Plans Life, but this is different from the die cuts in that the material is like a thicker card material and it's like a soft matte kind of feel. And I really like that. It says you are made of magic. And then the last, let me put this here. Oh, it's not straight, sorry. Okay. And then the last die cut that I got was this one that says you are worthy because I think we could all use a reminder sometimes. Just making sure that's in focus. Okay, and then I got two sticker sheets and this is on like a regular matte paper. One is of the stethoscopes because I don't have any, believe it or not. In my six years of planning, I do not have a single sheet of doctor stickers. Wanted to use these to mark when I go to the doctor and you know, like getting a vaccination today. I wanna use these to mark that. So those are perfect. And then as you all know, I've been looking for cake stickers, so this is perfect as well, and I have been into the minimal thing lately, so I feel like with the black stickers, it's easy to put in my planner and my memory planner because it matches with everything, and it's also great for layering as well, which you'll see some stickers. There's a theme going on in this haul, which you'll see, and these will be perfect for layering on top of stickers that I'll show coming up. So that is my PR order from Wild Moon Paper Co. So the next order I have is with Sterling Ink and I have been influenced by Lindsay from Lindsay Scribbles and Amanda as well. Actually, a bunch of people I follow are on Catherine's PR team and her stickers are just so gorgeous. So I made an order and it shipped super fast, by the way. Like I made the order and then I think three hours later I got a shipping notification and like two or three days later I got my order. So that was really nice. I'm just grabbing the invoice here so I can tell you the names of the sticker sheets and colors I got. Give me one second. So the first thing here is this business card, which is on Almost, it almost feels like a textured kind of glossy cardstock. And on the back, Catherine wrote a little note, which I always think is really sweet. Little hair. Okay, so yes, all of the shop information. So I did order off of Etsy and Sterling Inc. also has a separate website, but I believe the prices are the same. So since I already filled out my Etsy cart, cause I didn't realize before she had a Shopify. So this is the freebie that came with my order. It is on a transparent, clear matte sticker sheet, which I have been obsessed with clear matte stickers. I understand the hype now. So I really like this. And this is her March collection, I believe. And these stickers are so cute. You'll see some in my haul. So that's the freebie. The first sheet that I picked up, and this is the only sheet that I picked up on a premium matte, is a sheet of these little planners, which are the cutest thing. Like, I think I need to zoom in super close so you can see how cute it really is. So they're basically like little ring planners and it's black and I have a black Vanderspeck on the way. So I thought these were perfect for marking like planning or anything rings related. So I love those. And then I got a sheet, oh wait, I have my invoice here. And then I got a sheet of these March 
wildflower stickers. These again are on clear. This is the large version and I got the pendants, sorry, the stamps version of the March wildflowers again on clear. These are so pretty. I am obsessed with like the stamp trend or I don't know if it's a trend. I think it's been a thing with the journaling community, but I think it's so cute. So then I got these watercolor floral icons and I think these are in order. So I'm just going to read down the invoice basically. So these are the watercolor florals in the beige color background. And I think these are so pretty just to layer and decorate. And then I got the terrazzo elements on clear. I think these shades again are great for, I mean, this is like my shade range lately. And also it's just a nice element for layering. I got these large abstract watercolor floral stickers and this is the brown blue colorway. Got the same sheet with the beige background. And then I got the same sheet again with the rose gray background or colorway. So pretty. And then I got a sheet of these little watercolor florals. These are on circles on clear matte. And of course I love the eucalyptus and it's just so pretty and so dainty. And then I got some corners. I really like these corner stickers to use functionally. I mean, I'm gonna use it in my memory planner as well, but I thought these would be great for like marking events, which is what I've been using them for. And this is a sand colorway and then the latte colorway. And then the last two sheets that I picked up were more of these florals. That is what I have from Sterling Ink. All right, the next shelf I have is Bare Necessity stickers. This is again, my first order from Megan. And I did open it already, which is why it's ripped at the bottom. I have been loving like bare necessity stickers kits, like journaling type kits lately, but I didn't pick up any for this release. I think like her transparent matte stickers were on sale or something like the functional add-ons or I don't remember like journaling add-ons. I don't remember what the title of this line of stickers is called, but I picked up a bunch since they were on sale. So again, with the transparent matte stickers, that's one of the trends you'll see in this video. So the first thing that came with my order is this sticker, which is a boba sticker, so cute, I love. And then also a sticker sheet. This is on a regular matte paper and I love that charcuterie board. That looks really good right now. So the first thing I picked up were these celestial flags and I love the crescent moon on them, which is why I picked it up and they are on a transparent matte sticker paper. And then I got these autumn like star clusters. So I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I think these would be so great for layering. Let's see if I can peel one up. They're in just kind of like random shapes. And I really liked this colorway. And then I picked up a bunch of crescent moons because for some reason I'm obsessed with crescent moons and I, I totally remember the moment that I fell in love with them. I was like scrolling Tumblr and there was just this picture that showed up of, it was like a white, it was a graphic essentially. And it was a white square with a tiny little crescent moon in the center and that was it. And then I was like, wow, I love that. And that's the moment I fell in love with crescent moons. So this is another theme you'll be seeing in this haul. So I picked up the cozy colorway and then the boss colorway. So pretty. And then I picked up some half circles. These are called slices. This is in the autumn colorway and more corner triangle type stickers again in the autumn colorway. More star clusters in cozy, in neutrals. And then I got some more crescent moons. This is in the mellow colorway and autumn, I guess autumn's my favorite. I do not know how I'm going to use these yet, but I am keen to find out. And then I picked up one more sheet of these boss half slices or slices. And we all know that I picked this up because of the grid on the slice, which is pretty faint, but I hope you can see that. So that's why, definitely why I picked that one up. But that's everything I have from Bare Necessities, which 
it used to be grumpy bear i think and i still think of it as grumpy bear as my first thought so if you hear me like mislabel that in future videos that's why but i'm really excited for these stickers especially the little crescent moons they're so cute all right the next shop i have is high paper clouds and again this is a new to me shop i did open it which is why it's ripped i just get too excited when these orders come. All right, so the first thing that came with my order was this April freebie, which has some functional stickers on it and these cute little icons. It's like a nice mix of functional and deco. I love these little text stickers. And then you also get a loyalty card with a little cloud stamp. Oh, that's so cute. I didn't realize it was a stamp shape. So basically you take one and you put it on here. And when you have 10, then you can visit highpaperclouds.com slash pages slash loyalty to redeem a goodie bag, which is really cute. So love that. And then this is another set of freebies that came along with my order. So this one says it's always, it always seems impossible until it's done. And then this is like a little task card. And this is on a card stock, cute. And then Jasan included a couple of extras for me, which is really sweet. So these clouds were part of another, I purchased one of the listings. There's like, there are like three colorways and she just threw these in there so I would have all three, which is awesome. So thank you, Jasan, if you're watching. Of course, I had to get the little clouds, right? They are, again, on a transparent matte paper. And I mean, the cloud is like outlined for to offset the cutting line. So it's a little bit more pronounced, like the edges, and a little bit smaller than what you see on the paper. And I love these, so I'm super excited to use those. I did pick up some die cuts. This came in a bundle of the March Cloud. What is it called? This is the Universum Collection. So the pack of die cuts again comes like, it feels like just like a thicker copy paper rather than cardstock, or it might be just a thinner cardstock, but I love the celestial botanical vibes. This is so pretty. So I picked up a bunch of die cuts, or it came in a pack actually. And then I picked up a functional sheet of these sale tags, or I mean, they're like money tags. Again, on transparent matte. And I thought these were cute. Like I don't have too many money stickers or like shopping stickers. So I wanted to use these to mark shopping or sales or anything like that, bills. And then I picked up a sheet of these cute little coffee icons with the grid pattern. I'm sure this comes to no surprise to anyone if you've been watching my recent videos. So I think these will go great in like my planner and even the monthlies. And then I got more clouds. So this is TRP 33, 31, 32, and 33, which is taupe gray and mauve transparent cloud icons i'm not really sure how i'm going to use these yet but i just needed to have it because they're so cute i say needed lightly and then i picked up a sheet of these stella stamp icons again part of the universum collection these are so cute and they are on a transparent sticker paper you can choose between matte and transparent by the way but i've been into the transparent lately so got a sheet of those and then of course this is the item that made me really go for it. These are the crescent moons, which as you all know, I'm kind of obsessed with. So I picked up all three and they're like the perfect crescent moon shape. I'm like so particular about the shape for some reason. I like my crescent moons to be like a little, not chubby, but like a little chunky. So I just love the shape of these they are so cute. And then I picked up some floral like journaling stickers. This came in one listing, you have two options, and I got both because I love them so much. So this one you can layer yourself, this one comes layered already. And then I got a sheet of these like text stickers and deco stickers. I love the typewriter font and just the overall vibe of this. And then the last sheet I got were these deco stickers, which I'll probably use for my Hobonichi, although I've been really like pulling in some kind of journaling elements in my spiral bound memory keeper as well. So who knows, you might see them in both, but this is on a regular mat. I don't believe this comes on a clear mat. 
but the regular mat is nice as well too. So that's everything I got from, whoops, just nearly dropped the stamp. That's everything I have from High Paper Clouds. Super cute and I'm excited to use everything. All right, the next shop I have is Paper Dove Shop. And this is actually a gift from Alex, which is so sweet. She made a new style of the embroidered hoops, which I have one on my current planner. I just took it out of the packaging, but the cello baggie is really cute. Definitely gonna reuse that. So basically, Alex came out with a new style of her embroidered hoops, and she said she was making this one and it reminded her of me, and so she sent one along, which was so sweet, and I mean, I'm just gonna reveal it, and you guys will know right away. Ta-da! So this is her latest embroidered hoop, and it is of a crescent moon, and it's so pretty on this like dusty rose color, which you all know I love so much. And I like freaked out when she showed me this. So thank you, Alex, if you're watching. It was so kind of her to send one along to me and it will definitely match my planners so well. I'm gonna put it on my planner actually right after I film this. And then Alex also included some of these journaling cards in gold foil, which is so pretty. And if I'm not mistaken, they fit perfectly in this Once More With Love reusable sticker book. This is like the bigger one. I'm gonna choose one, which is my favorite. I like this Serenity one. I think it fits in the cover. So I'm just gonna slip it in. All right, I just went ahead and slipped it in, but as you can see, it is a little snug. Like it, I mean, it's a perfect fit actually. So it was a little bit tough to get it in there, but it fits perfectly. And the gold foil matches perfectly with the Once More With Love down here at the bottom as well. So that is awesome. I actually have a few of these sticker books so I can add these in the other covers. So that is what I have from Paper Dove Shop. I'm just so in love with this little, oh, by the way, the name of this hoop is called Luna. So that already, like any, if you name something Luna, obviously I'm gonna buy it because I love Luna. So it's just perfection. I absolutely adore this. All right, the next shop I have is called Yon Charm. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but this is a shop from Taiwan. And again, I was influenced by Amanda from Amanda Lee Plans. She did a little Instagram haul of these stamps and I just completely fell in love. My order got here super quickly. It shipped the next day and got here in about a week, which was awesome. I was actually expecting it to take a little bit longer, especially because of the pandemic, but nope, it got to me really quickly. So the first thing that came with my order is this thank you card and the owner, Emma, wrote a sweet little thank you note on the back, which I always love. And then I got a little washi tape. So this is what the washi tape looks like rolled out it's just a really pretty kind of soft plaid kind of pattern and then the real star of the show are these stamps which again I opened this already which is why the packaging looks a little worse for wear so I picked up a bunch of stamps which I've been having the desire to stamp lately after watching so many like journaling people on Instagram and YouTube and I just instantly fell in love with the vibe of these stamps. I think they're so pretty. I love the text and the style and this one. I mean, they're all just designed so well. And then the last thing I picked up were some stickers that came in here. This lipstick sticker is so cute. I did open this, which is why it's ripped. This is on a matte sticker paper. I thought this like art style was just so gorgeous. So we have the perfume, the chocolate. This is like my vibe right here. This perfume says magician. And then we have a martini. And then we have this one, which is like super whimsical. It has the magic diptyque candle. And this letter, which reminds me of Harry Potter. This CD says love songs for you, which is so cute. I just love the vibe. And then we have like a more vintage European type vibe here. Love the little stamps. The old school perfume bottle. And then is this the last sheet? Yeah, the last sheet is like almost like a vintage rose kind of theme. I love the matchbox, the rose and the lipstick. It's just so pretty. And the locking key, or sorry, the key. 
there's no lock. The key in the Tiffany's inspired ring box. It's just so gorgeous. Love the style. So again, I'm excited to use this for, definitely for memory keeping, not planning, because I throw my planner inserts out, but I keep my memory keeper. So this will definitely be more of a journaling thing. So that's what I have from Yon Charm. I am just super in love with everything and cannot wait to use them. All right, the last shop I have is Paper Minty Studio. This is the only order that I have not actually opened because the packaging was so pretty that I didn't want to ruin it because I knew I wouldn't be able to replicate it. But again, this is my first order from this shop and it's really cute. We have like a business card here and this packaging is just adorable. So here's a little shot of it before I open it up. All right, the first thing I picked up were these two washi tapes, which are so pretty. One is like kind of like a night sky again with a crescent moon. And then the other one is just, I forgot what it was called actually, but it's like a really simple pattern. I saw Amy from Peachy Green Paper show it on her Instagram and I went and added it to my cart because I love that simple design. This one is more of like a, almost like a forest, in between a forest and sage green color. And then this one, there are two colors, one's blue and one's pink. I got the pink one, although I might go back and pick up the blue one when it's back in stock. So here is the freebie that came with my order. It is on a regular matte paper and it is kind of, it reminds me of August actually. Oh, we have some cute little note pad stickers that were more freebies. These are so cute. They're like in a stamp shape, which I love. So we got a bunch of those. All right, the first sheet that I picked up were these jars of goodness. So Paper Minty Studio generally has two sizes when it comes to stickers. So there's a bigger size, which I also got because I love the sheet so much. And then there's a smaller one. And the bigger sheets are available in regular mat or clear mat, which is the one I got. And then the little one just comes on the regular mat or yeah, regular mat sticker paper. So these are super cute and I love these. These are probably my favorite sheet. And then I got a bunch of like deco sheets. So this one is, sorry, my phone's ringing. So this one is called the Rose Heirloom. And then this is the Dream Chaser. I just love this art style. I think it's so pretty. And of course, all the celestial vibes. And then the last sheet I got were these Water Series Night Skies. And this is on a glossy paper. And I thought this was just so gorgeous. I wanna use it in my memory keeper. I thought I could use these as like full boxes. So I'm excited for that. So that is everything from my first order from Paper Minty Studio and I'm in love. I can't wait to experiment with using these in both my Hobonichi and my TSKP, which is my vertical spiral bound planner. All right, everyone, that is all I have for you for this haul. I can definitely feel my style kind of shifting and me trying new things. So I'm excited for all of this. Let me know what you think and what you would like to see with these products in future videos. And please go check these shops out if you're interested and send them my love. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all taking good care and I will see you in the next one. Bye.